Well, hello everyone, and here I am with a with another Lego Ninjago movie set review, and this one is on the Lego Ninjago movie uh, Green Ninja Mac Dragon. So on the front of the box here, you see Lego logo, Ninjago movie logo, picture of the dragon and whatnot in action. And see uh, recommended ages eight to fourteen, set number seven zero six one two. It has five hundred forty four pieces. There's a good front look. And here's a look at the back. See in a more relaxed position, all the features of it, and the size of it, which is 23 inches slash 60 inch centimeters, and yeah. And now to the booklet, which is same, kind of the same pictures, but different sizes. But also, what's interesting is that it shows which bags are done in each booklet. Kind of interesting, but yeah. But on the back of the front, first one, how to win on the online survey, add for all the sets that are available at the moment, and ninjagomovie.com and whatnot. And, then, yeah. and on the second booklet, add for the add for its uh, attraction at, or the ride of it as Legoland. And the pieces included. And add for Lego Worlds and the Ninjago movie game. And what's that? So now on to the mini upgrades. So first of all is the Green Ninja Blind. And this one is a torso print done pretty well. And of course, also the new ninja mask, which they all use. And there's his front facial print. And there's his alternate ninja areas from the back with his double sided face. And also with including oh, whoops, the new sword piece. Yeah, a new sword piece with a new uh, tassel type thing onto it, which is kind of interesting. And, yeah. And next up is uh, Sensei Wu, voiced by the infamous Jackie Chan. And it's with me like a fabric uh, skirt or kilt piece with some nice printing and whatnot to it, and also sandal printing. But the beard, staff, and hat, same they've been for the last six years of Lingon and Jocko. And there he is from the back, but no double side face, of course. And as far as Lloyd and Wu go, the brickheads of them are set to be appearing pretty soon. And next up is the is Lord Gamadon himself. And this one's torso printing done great. Tremendously. And also a cool new uh Helmet molding and also an alright face printing uh, if it decides to focus. There we go. And also, there he is from the back. And, yeah. and lastly, is a Shark Army Gang thug who would. Which, like the other ones, which is just about identical to some of the other ones, you know, with the bright blue fish piece, but with a, like, a spear type thing in it. And there he is from the back. But also has a little side build, is. This little laser gun thing for Garmadon to hold, which does look to fit in with the like Bride collection of Lord Business in the Lego movie, like with the keychain and all. And yeah. Now on to, and of course, don't get the main bit. Get a Lego set for the minifigs, unless you're kind of odd like that. But of course, help as a helpful drawing for it. And now, on to the main dragon itself. And yeah, so, 
this thing just massive. Or quite long. Kind of hard to fit all in frame. So I'll start off from the back and work the way up. Which, as you see in the middle of the body, which is kind of jiggly wiggly. But as the like rubber pieces to help support that in, which is a good plus. And as for the tail, which ends with one of the Hero Factory lightning bolt pieces in gold, and a couple of katanas. Oh, whoops. And also right on there, this little gear may twist that twists and it slashes the tail back and forth, which is a cool feature, which is pretty cool. But like, if you're like someone that you know displays these on a shelf for a desk or something, then you're probably gonna have a lot, plenty of trouble uh, when putting it on when displaying. Sorry about my hand in the way. Oops. And of course, there's the back legs. Built quite nicely on so both a ball joint and a ratchet joint above. And of course, for all the feet, which are the like uh, CCBS uh, uh, feet, but in the same green color, which is pretty cool, which would be quite nice for mock making. And then further on up is where you get some of these like angular pieces, but with a sticker on it. But but one interesting thing that you can like fold them out. And these little engine turbine things fold out. Kind of cool. Since, you know, it's mechanical. And would probably need those to fly with. And also these little flaps, which might be the mini wings, which are also on mini ball joints. Or mixel ball joints. But also this set has a lot of stickers. But also as for the front legs, which are also kind of similar to the back legs. But what's interesting, and an odd place for the stud shooters, probably have to make it go forward and shoot it off. Which, you know, kind of interact, kind of odd for it. And then further on up for the neck. Which, as you can tell, was. Which has the like a uh, Nexo Knights book piece, but in the trans green and, to be like a viewing screen, and also a printed tile piece, and also a clip on the side for Lloyd's sword, and kind of like in the newer Star Wars sets and whatnot. And then on to the infamous head. And well, one of the good parts of this set, well, like. In like for the first wave of Ninjago sets in 2011, when the head, dragon piece heads were all like one solid piece, and then at like 2014 or so, kind of went away from that and did completely brick built heads. And this one is quite more of like a clash of them. But built pretty nicely, like the banana piece in gold, which is quite a nice piece, but and also the like. Uh, front top schnoot and the bottom jaw piece, which are quite nice. And also, there's like uh, gold pieces from elves to be the whiskers, also put to get some good use. So they sticker on the top of them. And the jaw of it opens up superbly. And also, you see the pink flag piece, but representing the tongue quite nicely. But also going along the back are all of these these like CCBS uh, uh, spike pieces or Crystal King uh, spike pieces, but in black, which is pretty cool, kind of good for mocking. But also some more ratchet D joints in the neck, and also the chest of this, which has a couple open spots, but. Or unless it, if I were Lego, I would put a couple of sand green or dark green pieces on those. 
unless if it was possible, but it is what it is. But good sloping all over this, and yeah. And now to get light onto this, so the sword clip on, like the new, like the latest Star Wars set, and you can sit him right on, just like so. And now on to the final overall verdict on this. All right, so overall verdict on the mech dragon. Well, it's pretty cool build, like a clash of big custom pieces and regular system pieces, and also get uh, Master Wu, Garmin, and of course Loy, of course, and. And I feel this will be a big part of the movie and whatnot, and yeah. And if you got the money to buy this set, then go ahead and get it. And that is it with this video, and see you all next time. Bye-bye.